Women are increasingly playing a more dominant role in the finances of Australian households. Whether they're married, single or divorced, more and more women are now in highly paid jobs. But despite their enhanced financial status, many women feel the financial services sector, like many other sectors, is still geared to men. One of those women is Sydney-based financial planner, Claire McKay. Claire, when you say the financial services sector is still geared towards men, what do you mean by that? I think it's a recognition that the industry still needs to go a long way to better communicate with over half the population. Um, the, the number of times I'm hearing women say, the language just doesn't appeal to them or they just don't get it or they're spoken to as if they're never going to get it is not good enough given that um, women are controlling more more finance they're making decisions both within their family and also independently um, the industry needs to really recognize how they communicate with half their clients well, what does it say about the industry that that still happens um, well I'd like to think that we each all talk to our clients individually and take into account their knowledge and background and help them better understand their finances. But too many times, sitting over lunch or at drinks after work, I'm hearing very successful professional women complaining that questions are directed to their husband or they're treated with, um, you, know, um, you know, they're not treated with the same respect that their husband is, not with saying that they're bringing in half or even more than the family income. Do women need to be more assertive and when you're in a bank or with a financial advisor or someone like that, just make the point that actually, you know, I provide a lot of the money here. Talk to me. Absolutely. I mean, I've got a, a client in their 70s and she is very conscious about asking those questions because she's also very conscious that her husband may not be around later. But certainly um, when, in, when dealing with a financial advisor or with any financial institution, making sure you understand what they're telling you so you can make informed decisions. It's not, a, it's not good enough to be told you don't need to know. And just following on from that, what are women missing out on because of that attitude? Well, I think the whole idea of better understanding your finances is having confidence about your future. And if you don't actually understand the discussion and you're being asked to make decisions, A, how can you make that decision? And B, how do you have confidence that that's going to be the right thing for you going forward? Um, so peace of mind about your finances and confidence that you're going to hit your goals, reach your retirement, have the lifestyle that you, you dream of. All of those things are predicated on understanding your finances and understanding the decisions you're making. What needs to happen for women to feel that they are getting a fair go from the financial services sector? Well, it's a combination of things. Um, certainly consumer demand, demanding of the institutions you deal with, demanding of your advisor and asking the questions and being prepared to keep asking the same question until you get an answer you, you actually understand. Secondly, the institutions um, slowly are recognising that they need to do a bit more. So um, certain large um, industry super funds have got better websites with better information available. Um, ASIC recently has come out with their, on their moneysmart.gov.au website, um, a, an overlay that helps women access information better, which is, which is great. So it's a combination of, of things. But the key thing is everyone, men or women, need to better understand their finances. And it's a combination of promoting it yourself and asking more of the institutions. Claire McKay, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Andrew. Well, that's all for this chilly edition of the Finance Quarter. As always, if you'd like to see any part of the program again, you can find us on the ABC News website. Just go to the business page and click on the Finance Quarter icon. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Finance Quarter.